Hello everybody, welcome back to the Next Gen Robotics YouTube channel, and today we are going to be making a advanced move straight with acceleration my block for first leg league using the Spike Prime blocks software. Before we get into the video, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to Next Gen Robotics, and turn notifications on so you don't miss our next video. Let's get started. To begin, let's open up a new project in our program environment, make sure it's a word block program. Then we're going to name this move straight. All right, and hit create, and we jump here in the software. Before we get into much program, we need to go down here to the bottom left hand corner and open up the extensions tab. We need to select the more motors, more movement, and more sensors tab. Um, this is always a good idea to select these three just so you have access to the extra blocks. Now, to begin, let's go up to our main movement tab and we're going to drag out two different blocks. We're going to drag out our set movement motors to A and B. However, my robot, it's E and F, so I'll change and update that. However, you need to put it to whatever is on your robot. It might be different from mine. I'm also going to drag out set one motor rotation to um, X amount of centimeters. Moved. Um, we'll update this later when we do a little bit of math, but for now we'll leave it as is. Now I'll go down to the more movement tab and drag out both the the brake block at stop and the set movement acceleration too. And we'll make sure we leave brake on brake and we're going to set the acceleration section to slow. Medium's a bit fast for my liking and we'll make a robot a little bit less accurate, especially with big attachments. Now go back up to movement and drag out set movement speed to 50. Um, we'll go and we'll update this to 100 because I like fast robots and drag out a move forward um, for 10 rotations. However, if I want to move forward 10, I'd like to move forward in centimeters. Now we need to go up here and update our set one motor rotation. Um, and this is just simply the circumference of our wheel. Um, if you already know how to calculate this, you can skip this next part of the video. If you don't or you're unsure, I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, so here I have opened a little comment box with the information for my wheels. However, yours may be different. And this information um, that you'll need is simply your wheel diameter. And this is normally easy to find on most Lego wheels as it is printed on the side wall. You'll see a number and then you'll see times whatever. So in my case, I have 62.4 by 20. And that means that the diameter of the wheel is 62.4 millimeters, while the width of the tread itself is 20 millimeters. Your mileage may vary. The blue spike wheels don't have this printing on the side, if I remember correctly. Um, however, you can look on Bricklink for your part, and you should see it there listed in the title or somewhere within in the description on Bricklink. To calculate our circumference um, that we need for this block, First, we're going to take our diameter of our wheel in millimeters, and we're going to convert that to centimeters uh, by dividing by 10. So in my case, it's going to be 6.24, um, simple division, move the decimal place over, um, and then we're going to multiply this by pi, which is 3.1415, um, and I get 19.603. Once again, your number will be different if you have a different size to tire. Um, and this is a really, really advanced decimal, and we don't need that many decimal places, so we'll cut it down to 19.6, and we'll put that in our block. Now we have all of this code here, and it's not really worth it to have all this, so we're gonna turn this into a my block. So I'm gonna move this out of the way, uh, but we're gonna go to my blocks, we're gonna make a block, and in block name, we're gonna type in move straight, give it a few spaces, we'll put a vertical bar, a few more spaces, and we'll put distance. And inside the distance a section we'll put parentheses centimeters, um, if you're doing inches or some other unit of measurement, of course put that. Uh, then add an input uh, with number of text and call it distance, and then add a new label, um, text label, and we'll call this speed. And then at the end of this, um, we'll actually add a percent sign since this is the percent speed we're going. Then we'll add another input and we'll put this as speed. We'll hit save and there we have our MyBlock framework created. And so then we'll go drag all the code we've written over to the MyBlock and 
from here on out, there's a few things we need to update. So first thing we need to drag distance um, all the way down to our move straight block for distance, and we'll drag our speed down to our set movement speed too. Um, all of our other blocks above are all constants, so these are things that do not need to be changed, so we don't need to drag any um, effect what are effectively variables into them, as they're never changed whenever we run our program. We only want our speed and our distance to be able um, to be updated from our my block. So we'll drag out of my block, and to test this, we'll set our distance, we'll say 30, and our speed, we'll say 100. And that looks like... All right, so there you can see our program went forward 30 centimeters. And to test this a little bit more, we'll drag out a weight block for one second. We'll go back to my blocks. We'll drag out a move straight block. Then we'll set our distance to negative 30 and our speed to 50. Um, now when you test this, you should see the robot move forward for 30 centimeters and then backwards for 30 centimeters, just a little bit slower uh, than the first movement. And with that, our MyBlock is complete. If you have any questions about this move straight with acceleration MyBlock, or you'd like to see any other tutorials on how to make different MyBlocks, please feel free to leave that down in the comment section below, and I'll try to get them answered straight away. And while you're at it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to NextGen Robotics if you want to see more tutorials like this. Um, that's been a NextGen Robotics uh, coding tutorial about Spike Prime. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.